Welcome to the Yoga Tree's demonstration of Shashankasan, the hair pose, and Bhujangasan, the cobra pose. These poses complement each other, as one is a forwards bend and the other is a back bend. But I like to teach them in terms of their bhava, their attitude or mood that you can take when you practice these postures. As you can see, we're starting from a kneeling position and inhaling, lifting the hands, exhaling down into the hair pose. So a hair is famous for its serenity. It's always aware of what's going on around it. Awareness centered in the abdomen here, we can see this hair would be grazing. But awareness spread out all around, ready to run or to move away rather at any kind of confrontation or threat. From here, placing the hands shoulder width apart, and inhale as you start to glide forwards, just like a snake. The energy here comes from the tip of your toes, moving through your legs. Good to be strong through your core, lift your pelvic floor. Pelvis stays grounded, shoulder blades drawing down your back, and lifting up this lovely cobra posture. The cobra rises up to be self-assertive, to send a clear message to potential threats. Don't come near me. Stay back. Stay back. So these are two postures which give us a way of approaching any kind of conflict or any kind of confrontation. One way is to simply move away. And the other way is to assert yourself in that situation. In order to get the most out of this practice, it's good to practice the hair pose and feel that you are a hair as you practice it. Feel the breath in your belly expanding the kidneys at the back and the adrenal glands that sit on top of the kidneys. When you move forward into your cobra pose, feel that you're a snake moving forward. Feel that virtue that you're cultivating, that ability to be calm in a crisis, to know when it's right to assert yourself and when it's better just to remove yourself from that situation. In this way, these two postures together provide a good place to work on the yoga practice of ahimsa, non-violence. Non-violence means, of course, to avoid harming others, other people, other beings. It's also important to avoid harming yourself. And that's right down to the practice of this posture too. Here you can see me demonstrating a variation to get into your cobra posture, keeping the arms straight. More important to have strong core there, but it's a good way of stretching out your belly. And people have reported that helps relieve cramping in the lower abdomen. The instructions on the practice of this posture and on how to work with it in daily life you can find in my book Karma Yoga, bringing yoga into your daily life. I hope you've enjoyed this and if you have any questions you're welcome to ask.